before I start the video, I just want to remind you that if you're looking for an iCloud Bypass, then go to appletech752.com and click on the iCloud Bypass page. This matrix here lists every Apple iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch and has direct tutorial videos to all of the iCloud Bypass content you will ever need. What is going on guys, this is AppleTech752 and in this video I'm going to show you how to completely unlock your passcode and disabled iPhones. That's right, this is more than just a bypass, this is actually a full unlock because we're going to be turning off Find My iPhone, meaning you can literally restore the device, update the device, sign in with your own account, and it will be completely free from the previous owner in every single way and it's like your brand new iPhone. Without much further ado, let's jump straight into it. So first, we need to head over to my website at appletech752.com and under the bottom here you'll find some quick links. Just click on the one that says iRemoval Pro Tool and download that to your desktop. And then you're also going to want to go to desktop.telegram.org and get Telegram for Windows right here. And this will download Telegram. Go ahead and put that on your desktop as well. You should have these two programs, the iRemoval Pro and the Telegram. And once you have those, we're going to go ahead and check rain our device. Now, if you don't know how to install check rain on Windows, go ahead and click the link at the top right corner right now. This video details the entire process of installing Ubuntu via UNET Bootin and getting check rain all set up and ready to go. And we're just going to go ahead and boot into UNET Bootin. So let's press the start button and power and restart. So assuming you clicked on that card in the upper right hand corner and followed all the steps correctly, then you should get this nice little menu when you reboot your computer with two options, one for Windows 10 and one for UNET Bootin. Go ahead and click on UNET Bootin. And of course, if you're using Boot Rain or Rain USB or Rainstorm, any of those other ones, then go ahead and do that whatever way you want. This step is basically just running check rain so we can get access to the device for the actual bypass procedure. All right, now that we're on Linux, go up to the top right corner and click on this little menu bar and make sure you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. That's very important. Now we're going to go over to the Firefox web browser and go to the official check rain website. Here, just click on get the beta now and where it says looking for another OS, click see all downloads and click on the 8664 option and save the file. And it should save up here. Now we're gonna close out of the web browser completely and go over to this little icon that says files. And now on the downloads page, double click and you should see check rain right here. Now we're gonna type in terminal to launch the terminal and type in chmod plus x and drag and drop check rain. Now click enter and we're going to type in sudo space and drag and drop check rain one more time and now click enter. And it says it's not supported. All we have to do is click on options, allow and tested versions, back and start. Click the little OK and next. And this should put our device in recovery mode. I'm just going to speed through this process real quick here because we all should be pretty familiar with check rain at this point. And just like this, CheckRain says all done. We are indeed still passcode locked here. So all we have to do is exit out of the terminal by closing the terminal and then close the downloads page. And up here, just click the little power button and simply click on restart. And that's gonna go ahead and boot you right back into Windows. I'll be back. All right, so we're back on Windows. Now I'm gonna go ahead and quickly show you that Find My iPhone is on for this device. So I'm gonna paste the IMEI in right here and click the little search. And just like this, it's gonna produce a pop-up to show us that we do have Find My iPhone turned on. Right here, this is an iPhone 6S. I did actually replace the housing myself, so that's why it's gold instead of rose gold. But it is indeed an authentic iPhone 6S here, and Find My iPhone is on. So we're gonna be turning off Find My iPhone. All we have to do is go over to Telegram, and we're now going to send IFPDZ a message and tell him that we're interested in the service. If you create an account in Telegram, then you should see the search bar right here. Go ahead and type in IFPDZ and click enter. 
and you should see this contact. So we're just gonna write him a little message here. All right, so as you can see, I just typed IFPDZ a little message. I said, I'm interested in your Find My iPhone off service for my iPhone 6S. I went ahead and pasted the IMEI. You can find your IMEI through 3U tools, or in some cases, it's even printed on the back of the device itself. And then I just said, please tell me how to proceed, thanks. We're gonna go ahead and send this message, and IFPDZ should get back to us with instructions for exactly what to do for the next steps. And just like this, he said the accepted payment methods are PayPal, Skrill, and Western Union. So I'd like to pay by PayPal. I'm just gonna say, I would prefer PayPal. What's your email address? And we'll see what the email address is here. And he said the price is $25 for this iPhone 6S. And we're gonna send payment to this email. All right, so as you can see, I have his PayPal email in my account right here. And we're gonna go ahead and send him 25 USD. Select USD and type in $25, just like that. And now go ahead and click on continue. And just like this, click send payment now. Now it says you've sent $25 to this email address and make sure that that goes through. Of course, whatever price he gives you is the price you wanna send. And now we're gonna go ahead back to Telegram. All right, and as you can see, he said, all right, the payment has been received correctly. Now download the iRemoval Pro application from appletech752.com. We've already done that. Once done, open it, plug in your iPhone and click generate removal token and wait about 15 seconds. Once you see the token shown in the box, paste the token here, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So let's go into the iRemoval Pro application and click on iRemoval Pro v1.0.exe. And just like this, we are inside of this tool which has a stunning user interface. And we're just gonna go ahead and click on generate iRemoval token. And it says dumping, please don't unplug your device. And just like this, the token is auto copied. So go ahead and immediately control V to paste it into Telegram and send it to him. And then he's gonna go ahead and update us on whether Find My iPhone was turned off. All right, and it says, looks like the token is expired. So send a fresh one. That's totally fine if that happens. We're just gonna click on generate iRemoval token. And it says dumping, please don't unplug your iDevice. And now we're gonna control V one more time and click enter to send him the new token. All right, and since it didn't work so many times, I'm gonna show you guys a trick that sometimes will help. As you can see, I have Wi-Fi turned on right here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is dump the token. So let's generate the token one more time. And the device will respring, that's totally normal. Now we're gonna go ahead and paste the token, control V, and then as soon as the token's been pasted, go ahead and pull up the control center and turn off Wi-Fi if you can. This just makes it helpful so that, you know, there's no issue server side with turning off Find My iPhone. Obviously, if you don't have Wi-Fi turned on, then, you know, that won't be a problem for you anyways. So I'm just going through all the steps that might be necessary. And let's see what he says right here. He says, congrats, the Find My iPhone has been successfully turned off. And he also sent a photo that says, Find My iPhone is off. So just to prove this, I'm gonna go over to my web browser and we're gonna check the iMEI one more time. As you can see, this is our last check. It said, Find My Device On. So now we're gonna go ahead and copy the iMEI right here, Control C, and go back, check more, and paste it in right here. And just like this is checking. And just like this, it says, find my device off. So that is the key that means that we have turned off find my iPhone successfully, and we can go ahead and restore our device. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to open up three U tools right now, click on yes. And we're going to go ahead and restore our device. As you can see, it says screen, unlock, timeout, blah, 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 all that stuff. Doesn't really matter. All we have to do is click on the power and the home button at the same time. And then let go of the power and go into DFU mode. 
And at this point, all I'm going to do is restore my device. Let's click on Go Flash and Flash 13.5.1 and Flash. And at this point, since Find My iPhone is off, we're going to restore to a brand new clean OS with absolutely no iCloud on it. And we're just going to be able to set up the device like normal. All right, and the device just finished the fresh restore. So we're going to go ahead and set it up and see that there is no iCloud. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi network here. And just like this, let's take a look. Boom, we skipped right over the activation screen. I'm going to go ahead and set it up right here. Everything should be fully working, so I'm going to go ahead and put a SIM card in right now. This is an AT&T card. As you can see, we have no service right now, but look at this. We now have AT&T, so I'm going to go inside the phone app and dial 611. And as you can see, we have phone service. Thank you for calling AT&T about your wireless service. Due to unusual... And now we can go ahead and load Apple, and we have cellular data. So we have data on calls, we have FaceTime, iMessage, literally everything works, guys. This is a fully brand new phone because Find My iPhone is off, so you can go ahead and sign into your phone with your own iCloud account, lock it to your own account, and yeah, this is your brand new device now. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, stay tuned for more. Follow me on Twitter at AppleTech752. Join the subreddit for bypassing at reddit.com slash r slash setup app. And until next time, have an amazing day and peace out.